using the custom properties window in the task pane is a fast and easy way to link custom parameters to your SOLIDWORKS models and have them propagate to your part drawings. In order to lay out property options in a logical and efficient workflow, we use the Property Tab Builder. This is a great and versatile tool to get the custom properties layout that works for you and your company's specific needs, as well as getting departments that may need different custom properties, all working on the same template and in SOLIDWORKS 2016, it has gotten even better. The Property Tab Builder can be found by going to your Start menu under SOLIDWORKS 2016 Tools or by clicking on the SOLIDWORKS resource icon in the task pane from within SOLIDWORKS and selecting Property Tab Builder under SOLIDWORKS Tools. If you have used the Property Tab Builder in previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, then you will notice that the interface is laid out in the same way with some subtle changes. You still have your template in the center pane, your attributes options on the right, and your elements palette on the left. If you look at the bottom of the element palette, you will see that in Property Builder 2016, we have a new option called a list group, which now gives you the ability to create and control conditional lists. This is just one of many great enhancements to the Property Tab Builder for 2016. Let's start with a simple change, but one that many people have been waiting for. In previous versions of Property Builder, you could only have up to three radio buttons per feature which made it necessary to use multiple features if you needed more than three options. In the Property Tab Builder for SOLIDWORKS 2016, you can now have up to 10 radio buttons per feature, making it much easier to contain all options inside of one radio button element. Using the new List Group box is very easy. Simply create a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that defines the properties that are available from a template that contains the List Group. The Excel sheet can be maintained by anyone, making it easy to keep your custom properties current. Conditional lists can also be attached to other elements as well, by using the new Specify Parent option. Here we have used a radio button, and after the radio button is defined, we simply drag in a list element and specify a parent using the button under the Caption option. Once the parent is defined, the value menu is shown below, where you can enter custom values for each condition of the parent. The checkbox feature is also available to control conditional values. The process is the same as we drag in a list element and specify the checkbox as the parent. This will show conditional values when the box is checked or unchecked. Now we can save this property template and we can see it in action. Let's open a new part and apply our property template to it. You can see we have five radio buttons at the top, which control several different template options. If we take a look at the list group that we created to reference our Excel spreadsheet, we can see that different values populate based on our chosen options. And that the same can be seen with our radio buttons, and our conditional value checkbox. Property Tab Builder makes it easier than ever to keep custom properties current and easily accessible and have your entire company working on the same templates, ensuring consistency across the board. If you would like to learn more about custom property management or other great features of SOLIDWORKS, please visit www.javelintech.com forward slash training. Yeah.